Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Factorio. Well, we know that we built this last time, and uh, I hate it. It's hideous and terrible. I think I need more uh, production, so we are going to have to out output these onto belts. Uh, so that they can back up and then we'll have at least two of these uh, buildings here. I was also thinking about it and uh, if we replace these with the advanced machines. There we go. Uh, then we can just rebuild uh, the advanced from the leftovers. Uh, and then these will construct reds faster so that we'll have uh, higher production of those. Uh, we're also done researching the flamethrower, so let's keep going along with that. Uh, landmines, I guess. Refined flammables, maybe? I don't know what I would use landmines for. We'll research them anyways, though, and uh, I'm sure that I'll figure out a way to use them. Uh, but yeah, let's try to get these outputting properly. Um... This thing isn't outputting at all, so we'll just pick that up. We'll get these. There we go. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to run this along anyway. How does it work again uh, when we output... Oh, I didn't mean to take these. Yeah, if we output directly um, on this belt, I don't think it's going to work, right? Right. Okay, so we don't need this guy. Um, but if we output here also, we can link these up, right? Only if we keep going with this, uh, then this can come up here. Yeah. And then so those modules, uh, will be where I want them to be, right? Uh, efficiency modules or whatever they're called. Uh, yeah. Then if we have at least two of these guys, let's see, we're going to have to... Shake it up a little bit. We could have it as close as this, and then run this belt uh, just around to where it's the correct distance away, and I'm out of belts already. Okay, so you're going to be making purples. I'll go ahead and throw the nonsense that I have. Uh, I wanted to get rid of what else were they? Electric furnaces? I could have probably kept those on me, but it's fine. All right. So we want to input these here, and then input these here as well. Uh, we will need more electricity, of course, to power these up. And we'll want another one of these bad boys here. We'll be fine. Uh, then we'll output to the far, far side. We'll be good. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing something. What am I, what am I missing? Oh, the rails aren't actually close enough yet, because I ran out of uh, belts. Oh, wow. Landmines are already finished, and the inserters are not yet. Uh, so, refined flammables. Effects just increases fire damage and flamethrower turret damage. Good. See, that specifically says uh, turret damage. And so it makes me wonder if the uh, weapon damage and stuff is not not properly working. Or it doesn't upgrade turret damage, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, purples made. And then the output is going to go around. Let's go ahead and get it going. I guess it could come down right next to this uh, science output. Can we go on the inside? Uh, it would be tedious. Okay, so the hold up right now is uh, these guys. Why are these guys working so slowly? Because of steel? Our steel production isn't sufficient? Wow, it is. It's really slow. Uh, let's see. Refined flammables is done. Combat robotics gives us the combat robots. Fantastic. We'll start that research. Okay, collecting up these miners... Uh, that have run out of resources, and we are almost out of uh, iron over here. It's pretty sad, actually. 
and we're incredibly close to having everything just gone. So we are going to desperately need to get the iron train rolling very soon. Uh, more research is done. Uh, I guess we go for rockets then. Sounds like a fun time. I ought to check and see how we're looking in terms of blue versus military research. What was blue again? Chemical? I keep forgetting. Yeah, we're almost, uh, yeah, we're down on military. So we could start researching some blue. And that would be fantastic. What's, why is everybody empty over here? Why aren't these guys running? They're not getting regular ammo? Why isn't, oh, he's not getting any iron. It's all being smelted or, or moved off. So yeah, our iron production is suffering significantly. Here, I wonder what happens if we put all of this on the same belt now. Yeah, so now all of these are working. That should help a bit. Maybe. Yeah, so we're not even producing uh, military science at speed anymore. Probably ought to go ahead and grab some belts while I'm here. There. So now we've increased our uh, steel production up here pretty significantly. What did we have two before and now we've got five? I probably ought to move this gun up by one and throw down the other two that I have because this doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Oh yeah, because even these electric furnaces need steel. Gross. Okay, rocketry is done. We need to start on blues. So we've got the electric engine here. So this will give us robotics. Uh, yeah, exoskeleton, power armor, that kind of stuff. Also unlocks electric engines, yeah. And lubricant and stuff. I don't think I'm making lubricant yet. Yeah, made in the chemical plant from heavy oil. So let's take a peek at that real quick. I will move that gun and we will get that, um, get more furnaces on there. Oh, I forgot to put this underneath the belt too. I'm all over the place right now. Okay. Uh, lights went out for a second, so I think our power production is not sufficient still. Accumulator charge is at its max, though, so we're not dipping into our stored power yet. Um, hmm. Which is a little odd to me. Why did the lights go out, then? I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, red research is backed up again, so that's good. I like to see that. Uh, let's get into this one so that we can get the substation. It's going to be awesome. Okay, and let's check again on our steel production up here. It's still not sufficient. Uh, these guys aren't even getting iron anymore, which is inconceivable. Inconceivable! So the next, uh, next thing has to be the iron train. How many cliff explosives do I have on me right now? Seven? We'll see if that's enough or not. I have quite a few train tracks uh, that ought to be enough to get us up here. And then I'll just pipe across uh, to there. It doesn't make any sense to expand the steel production right now if we don't have enough iron to sustain it. Alright, cart. Uh, let's go try to find the iron deposit and we'll build the railroad on the way back, I think. I forgot there could be rocks uh, out in these open desert areas. Wow. I saw that one and I just ran straight into it. I'm so good at driving in this game, though. You guys know this. I still don't get why I can't use the repair uh, kit from inside the car. That doesn't make sense to me, but I guess it makes sense to some people. It makes sense to whoever designed the game. Uh, I don't have enough gun turrets either on me. I have enough bullets, though. Alright, have we revealed any more of the map? Not yet. There are dudes over here, though, that will probably get angry. Uh, we're also going to need a couple of train stops. Do I already have one on me? I do. Because I accidentally made an extra before. Oh, that's cool. When I mouse over it, it flashes in my inventory so that I, I know that I uh, have some made already. That's very handy, actually. I've accidentally made several items um, that I already had, so... It's good that it tells me. Now let's get started on these uh, Module 2s. That'll get us to the Power Armor Mark II and all that. Okay, trying to set these up uh, in a way that sort of makes sense, I guess. Oh, I used up all the miners. I can make four of these substations. I think two will probably cover all of these, if I remember. 
the, the massive size that they are. I could be mistaken, though. Okay, let's run this train just a hair longer uh, this direction. Something like that will probably suffice for now. Let's get a train stop going. That will be fantastic. Okay, so we are going to turn this one uh, kind of a blue color. Yeah, kind of a light, lightish blue to look kind of like the iron ore. And we'll call it the Golden Brotherhood? I don't think so. We'll call this um, Iron Pickup. Because y'all know how creative I am uh, with my names. Do I have what I need only to make one locomotive? What am I lacking? Engines? Yeah, I only have 32 engines. Uh, so we'll have to go get stuff for that. Well, I could place one down here. Uh, and then two wagons. All right, so that's speed module two. We'll go for efficient or productivity. Sorry, module two. The green one is efficiency. It looks like, which is fine. Uh, yeah, let's see how much power uh, we can get out of these substations. That's another train stop. Here we go. Yeah, huge, huge coverage. Uh, if we go one more, yeah, that's not gonna connect to this one, but. I have another substation up around here somewhere powering that one, then we won't have to worry about it. I think I won't, though. I think I'll have this guy right here. Bam. Done. And then his coverage is all the way down to there. Okay, we'll have it hook up to that, and then one of these mediums can power uh, all of these inserters, so that's pretty effective. Go here, and we're doing our traditional setup of having chests here um, so that they can be filling up while the train is doing it, its thing back and forth. Alright, so now it's just to run the belts, and I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this. It's always a little more complicated than I anticipate, because we need it coming in on both sides, or else um, one set of boxes will fill up before the other ones do, and that just doesn't feel efficient to me. Okay, well, I am out of belts, uh, which doesn't really surprise me. What am I looking for? Cargo wagons. Good. So I've got both those set up, so I need engines to bring back. I need a whole load of belts, and then we need to connect up power as we go and build the track, too. So still a lot more, a lot more business in this. Uh, but this is going to save our bacon here shortly. Oh, we got coal from that stone? And 353 stone? That's crazy. That's so much stone. And we'll go straight to the efficiency module. Oh yeah, we've got our first cliff uh, to explode. Pretty exciting stuff, if you ask me. Boom. Gone. No worries. I'll be surprised if I have enough uh, rail, though. I'm running out pretty quickly, actually. It's, it's honestly a good thing that I got all those uh, rocks that I had to cut away, because otherwise I probably wouldn't have had enough stone uh, to build these. Of course, now I'm out of steel. Oh, next set of cliffs to blast. I don't think these explosives uh, damage my structures. Oh, we need more electric poles, too. And I can't, because I don't have any more steel. Gross. Um, but I always still hesitate to throw those things too close uh, to any of my buildings. Or, you know, rails. Let's see how these things do against um, trees, also. They don't. They only blow up cliffs. That's very interesting. You would think that uh, trees wouldn't be quite as hardy as solid rock uh, cliffs. But you'd be wrong, apparently. Okay, we've got the next stop down. Uh, I didn't... I didn't remember what the numbers were. This looks pretty close, though. And then this is going to be iron drop-off. Perfect. Okay, so it'll come up here 
uh, the guys will be unloaded. We'll just belt it onto the same belt that it was on before. It seems like an unnecessary distance for the ore to travel to get to the processing, uh, but if we have them splitting like this and stuff like that, it'll it'll uh, work out for the better. And of course, we'll have one boxcar unloading onto this belt, uh, the other boxcar unloading onto this belt, so that we have an even number, um, or an even distribution, I guess, of ore. Oh man, I have to manually feed iron into these machines so that this can produce uh, engines for me. I took away this inserter, I need to remember to put it back before I leave. Uh, so that this can still produce. That's one problem with having all of these machines chained together. If, if one supply starts running a little bit low, everything stops. So I have no uh, military science being made, hardly. I've got no um, chemical science being made at all. It's a rough one. I feel like power is about to be a serious problem soon, also. Just need about four more engines. Okay, so we got the inserter put back. We can make one more uh, locomotive. And then we ought to have what we need uh, to get power down to um, the new place. Yes, this guy's done already. He didn't have very many. It was like 230 bits underneath him. This one had 500. It's gone. Okay, we've got that connected up. I'm a little annoyed uh, at the way this is going, though. Yeah, because the... Uh, inserters are clearly grabbing from this side of the belt. It was almost empty all the way back here. Uh, very few of them are grabbing from this side of the belt. And uh, this will clean up this entire side of the coal deposit first, also. Um, and that's kind of preferable anyway. That way I can just move miners up as we go, and it should be fine. That's the way it works in my mind, uh, anyway. So, let's, oops. Get back down there. Get this finished. Okay, we're back again. Yeah, so it looks like all of these guys have power. That's fantastic. And some of them are actually loading up. There it is. Uh, there are goodies in here. Yeah, that's the correct direction. So that's wonderful. All right, these guys need um, some ores, though. Okay, kind of an odd little snakiness to it. Uh, but I think it's pretty balanced as far as the overall input. So this has been working since before I got here. It's only at 300 right now. Okay. Um, yeah, fuel, how much do I have? And we'll try to remember to fill it up soon. They don't seem to use a lot of fuel when they go places, um, but it's fine. So we'll start here at Iron Pickup, and we will do this until... Uh, full cargo, and then we will go to iron drop-off. Not accessible. Why? And do that until uh, empty cargo. I need to go up there and set that up uh, so that it can work, but first we need to defend this place. Um, I need a radar as well. Okay, we have a full surround of guns. Um, should be enough. This gun reaches pretty high up here. Uh, it's still possible for the biters to run around and come down in, but I think we're going to try not to worry about that, if I can help it. So that one's full, this one's full. Why, why isn't the train going? Because I don't have it on automatic. There. No bath. Okay. It's trying to go to iron pickup right now, I think. Okay, if we're sitting in here and we say iron drop off. Okay, now it's going, for whatever reason. I don't quite understand why it thought it had to go to iron pickup first. Okay, bit of finagling with the uh, wires here. These are a little closer together than what I like, but now we have ta-da, um, iron coming in. Iron ore. Uh, let's steal this splitter and we'll put it here. Boom. Then we'll make another one and do the same uh, right here. Boom. Okay. So now we are pouring the iron in like mad, and this should catch us up on our iron production. Uh, we no longer need these to be connected, and you can have half of this. You can have the other half. Merry Christmas. Okay. Do you guys, you don't have any more. We'll just move 
all of these uh, miners down to the southern area that are empty. Now, the other thing about this, though, is that this train is going to be going back and forth constantly. Uh, so these, these machines may not actually produce enough. Since that is the case, though, let's take this away for now. Yeah, train is already leaving the station again. I need to find a way to get these guys uh, outputting on this other side of the belt, though. So I ran these down and around. I know it's ugly, but uh, don't hate me. If we can just get the furnaces to produce fast enough to take away... It's like, the uh, this belt, it's working out okay. Because I'm trying to get these uh, miners to continue working while the train is still going back and forth, but I don't think that we're going to be able to do that quite as easily as I had hoped. Because all the furnaces are just going to take from the one side of the belt. Like, this one's full. It's going to stay full now. Uh, basically forever. So these miners will never have a chance to operate again. Hmm. Okay, so they were pulling from the far side of the belt for a moment. Uh, but I don't think that's going to be the case anymore. I don't think that these guys can work fast enough to eat up all of the iron that the train is bringing in. So I don't know. I may need to cancel uh, the unloading of these crates for a little little while. I know it doesn't make sense because we need the iron ore coming in, right? But we need to empty out this side of the belt so that all of these miners can start working again. And then uh, I can kind of regulate the operation, the emptying out of these steel chests onto the belt. Kind of get that going after um, these have cleaned up this iron. But try to keep it flowing so that uh, it never stops. Maybe I just do one crate at a time or something like that. Unloading set. There's always iron available. I don't know. It may not be worth it. So these guys are forced to pull from that side of the belt now. All of these miners are emptying out onto that side of the belt. Uh, so it should be a pretty, pretty constant flow of iron. Though as I'm looking at it right now, it, it looks like it's pretty slow, to be honest. And then this belt only has three um, miners on it. And these two are working from this side of the belt, which means that these would clog them up, you know what I mean? If I turn these guys around, like this, then I can do the same thing that I did with these other guys, and just run this down and around. Okay, well while I was editing uh, that first part of the footage, I noticed the mistakes that I made, so I'm going to try to fix them. Um, I don't think it matters which research we do right now, because uh, I think we're low on research. Oh no, we do have uh, military stacking up right now. Good. That's wonderful, actually. We'll go with shooting speed 2 then. Most projectile weapons. Okay. It still doesn't say about turrets, but... Uh, Maybe bullet shooting speed counts for turrets. We'll just pretend like that's uh, the case. Okay, get back up here. So I realized um, if these inserters are wanting to pull from the inside of the belt, I should obviously uh, have this ore and stuff running to the inside of the belt. Okay, so I think first things first, the stuff coming off of the train needs to go on that side of the belt. That's obvious. Uh, but I think when we get down here, uh, we actually want this to come down this way. We'll take that away. Okay, so what needs to happen is this has to keep going down. Yeah, this needs to go away. And that comes down. Uh, then these are inputting on this one, which is fine. They need to turn, though. And actually go, uh, sorry, underneath. There we go. And then they could even uh, come in on this direction. Okay, so now it's a little more compact than what it would be otherwise. But then we could just remove these, and this uh, can come down like this. Okay, so now all of the miners are in are outputting on the inside. 
So all of the miners will have their ores used first, right? We could do the same over here. Um, yeah, because I need to run this guy actually this direction. Yes, that's correct. And then these guys actually don't need to go underneath. They just need to go uh, straight through. Cool. So now they're all um, depositing on the inside and will be used first. And so that means that we can go ahead and output all of these crates. And this back line will fill up uh, with ore. So whatever these miners aren't outputting, uh, there will still be backup available. I guess this guy needs to be run uh, underneath, though, if he wants to be useful. Okay, this one's actually being slowly used uh, by this grabber. Every now and then it grabs an ore off of here instead of the belt. So this will eventually be used up. It'll just be a lot slower uh, than the other ones. And yeah, it does look like uh, this is working. These seem to be outputting fairly quickly. Now, if I remember correctly, these electric furnaces are bigger than these, yeah. By two. I suppose the main advantage of these is that you can uh, put in, um, what are they called? The modules. Speed modules and stuff like that. Oh, we don't have processing units yet. We need to get on that. Uh, yeah, they, they have the slots for modules, though. Yeah, so after observing for a little while, it seems like our iron production just isn't uh, sufficient to feed this amount of production, I guess. And so what we're going to end up needing to do is to either run the coal somewhere else so we can process more iron at a time, um, or to figure something else out. Like, I guess we could get into uh, making solid fuel, right, with light oil since we're going to be making lubricant from heavy oil. Um, and then we could feed the solid fuel uh, to some furnaces over here somewhere. Yeah, but I will think about that and try to formulate a plan. I just really wanted to fix this uh, because I was watching myself uh, edit that and I was just like, oh man, this is ridiculous. I have it on totally the wrong side. And uh, I shouldn't be that silly. Yeah, this is kind of frustrating because they're in a weird shape there. Uh, and then that's just 38. I might as well just mine this up by myself. Okay, so I set up a couple of these uh, miners here. Let's make sure that they're totally full of wood, because I need to put my wood somewhere. And then we will um, wait for them to mine up all that iron. Oh, okay. Well, uh, now that I fixed that problem, I think that is where I have to leave it uh, for this episode. It was getting pretty long already um, when I was editing, but it'll be fine. So, if you want to catch another episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.